Hi, so uh, my name is Isaac Moshe. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Nosto Solutions. How do you see the future of e-commerce? Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's a, a, a big, question, big question. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to look kind of really far out and make lots of speculations. I think, you know, for us, we're focused more on, you know, what are things going to look like in the next, you know, two, three years. Um, and that's where, you know, we're building for them. And, and a couple of things that we're seeing is, you know, major trends are obviously this kind of multi-device, multi-channel fragmentation and figuring out, you know, how do we tie the different points of the shopping journey, the different touch points together um, to provide that, that single view of the customer and then deliver a seamless experience. Right? As, I, as I said earlier, customers, you know, we think in terms of channels and devices, but customers don't. They just want a simple, seamless, connected experience, and we've got to figure out how to provide that wherever the customer is. I, I completely agree with you. I just saw statistics on 87% of, of e-commerce offering cannot cope with the digital advan advantages of, of the marketplace, and, and that ties into like that they can offer that experience. What would your advice be like uh, in, in simple terms? Like what would be the first steps to go towards the customer experience? Yeah, I think my advice would be take it step by step, right? Go to where, go where the customer is. Um, and with that, I would say mobile. I, I still think it's, you know, we've been banging on about mobile for, for so long now, but it's still a very disconnected experience. Yes, mobile traffic's going up, you know, we're seeing improvements in, in conversion and revenue, um, but I think that could go much further. So I would invest much more heavily in mobile, um, uh, understanding you know, how you improve the mobile experience, uh, and of course, you know, with that, how you can tie the mobile offering into the on-site offering. So again, we're moving away from these silos um, and providing that seamless experience. Yeah. yeah, I was going to ask you about the silos because when you talk about mobile, people normally just like uh, optimize their efforts into this mobile and they forget about uh, the the shop and 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 then the website itself. Like, okay, now we have, you, you know, when you think about in, in perspective of customer experience, that kind of includes everything. Yeah. Uh, let's jump into the personalization uh, you mentioned, and that's a big big. Uh, the trend coming up, mm. you need to offer personalized experiences online, mm. add, spend, you know, you can get increased conversion by having something uh, personal to the receiver. Uh, it sounds technology, uh, like it sounds like the technology behind it is very complicated, very expensive. How, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think it used to be. Uh, I think part, for me, that's one of the reasons it's, it's, it's so exciting. I think that's why I joined Nosto is that you know we've taken what was traditionally uh, enterprise level technology, complicated technology that required deep back end integration, product feeds, you know, and, and and we've simplified it. So it's really just a kind of UI layer implementation. It's like adding Google Analytics to your store, um, and then we do the heavy lifting in the back end and i think you know with the advance of, kind of cloud SaaS technologies machine learning you know big data i can throw out all the buzzwords yeah, but exactly. basically you know but, but, but you know with these trends you know things are coming together at a point and combined so you know it's not out of the reach of any retailer um you know we have retailers you know small smes um up to kind of multi-channel international brands um that are using personalization technology to deliver their customers these more relevant experiences so um, I think it's very exciting it's an incredibly exciting space it's becoming you know, to answer your question it, it is becoming an expectation of shoppers right now we need to deliver this personalization because if we're not doing it as brands then they'll just simply move to a brand that is treating to their treating them and speaking to them as individuals um, so it's it, it's no longer a nice to have it's becoming a must-have in the eyes of the shopper that's awesome. That's kind of like the social media back in the day. You, mm. Now it's not a choice anymore. It's a, it's right. a must. So right. I'm glad right. to hear that. Uh, last question. Uh, where can people follow you and what is the last advice you would like to give for the audience? Okay, so uh, where can you follow me? I'm at Isaac Moshe, I-S-A-A-C-M-O-S-H-E uh, on Twitter. Uh, probably better to follow Nosto Solutions, uh, more active than I am, uh, which is at uh, Nosto, N-O-S-T-O Solutions. Um, uh, and, uh, and yeah, like, last piece of advice is really, I mean, obviously I can talk about personalization and, and, and that's kind of a uh, key priority of ours, ours at Nosto, but um, I think my, my ultimate piece of advice is focus on the core metrics that count. 
Um, uh, you know, we're moving away from, from focusing on these vanity metrics in e-commerce, which I think is a great thing, and, and replacing that with this, this customer lifetime value. And not enough people still are understanding the importance of that metric. So that customer lifetime value um, and how that relates to your customer acquisition costs. So for those people that aren't familiar with kind of the core metrics of, of e-commerce, school yourself up, understand them, understand what's contributing, especially to that customer acquisition cost, customer lifetime value, and then figure out what you need to bring in tools wise, whether it's personalization, new CRM, new email tool, whatever, but to drive those metrics. Don't bring in the tools and then figure out, okay, what are we optimizing for here? That was a great advice. Thank you so much for uh, joining the interview. Uh, best of luck. Thank I will definitely be following you guys. Cool. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to go and uh, educate. And get some coffee. Yeah, but let's go get some coffee. <laughs> Sounds good. Cool. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Bye-bye.